वेलकम टू यू मध्य प्रदेश सेशन थीमेटिक सेशन नाउ आई वुड लाइक टू इंट्रोड्यूस द स्पीकर्स वी हैव डॉक्टर नवनीत मोहन कोठारी सेक्रेटरी डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इंडस्ट्रियल पॉलिसी एंड इन्वेस्टमेंट प्रमोशन एंड मैनेजिंग डायरेक्टर एम पी आई डी सी लिमिटेड देन वी हैव मिस निधि निवेदिता डायरेक्टर ऑफ हॉर्टिकल्चर एंड फूड प्रोसेसिंग डिपार्टमेंट देन वी हैव श्री एस सी सिंगाड़िया एडिशनल डायरेक्टर फॉर्मर वेलफेयर एंड एग्रीकल्चर डेवलपमेंट गवर्नमेंट ऑफ एम पी एंड देन वी हैव ऋषिकेश रमानी हेड मैन्युफैक्चरिंग इंडिया फ्रॉम डाबर इंडिया लिमिटेड देन वी हैव डॉक्टर रचना चतुर्वेदी रिसर्च हेड इन आइजक ग्रुप ऑफ यूनिवर्सिटीज देन वी हैव मिस अलका शर्मा को कन्वेनर फिक्की एम पी इकोनॉमिक डेवलपमेंट टास्क फोर्स फाउंडर खाद्योत नेचुरल प्राइवेट लिमिटेड Uh, now we would like to show a little av about the madhya pradesh growth journey in food processing sector can we have av please yes India A country known for its savory spices and delicious culinary delights is also a country known for one of the largest food processing industries in the world The Indian food processing sector's output is soaring new heights Among the front runner states there is a state driving the growth forward and has emerged as an epicenter of investment in the country it provides a conducive ecosystem with ample land water surplus quality power developed industrial areas robust connectivity and skilled manpower the land brimming with opportunities having highest area under organic cultivation in the country Welcome to Madhya Pradesh, the food basket of India. Best performing Indian state in food grains production. Okay. Uh, now, uh, now I would like to invite Miss Alka Sharma, uh, moderator of the session, to brief about her journey and to further context setting. Good evening everyone a warm welcome to this uh, session and i would request everyone to please be settled as we start this conference will enable us to understand the potential of madhya pradesh as a good food basket with reference to its conducive ecosystem attractive policies for investors and suitable soil and climatic conditions the government of madhya pradesh is working aggressively in exploring new opportunities and harnessing the potential of food processing sector government has taken initiatives to set up mega food parks agro processing clusters integrated cold chain value added infrastructure enhancing food processing and preserving capabilities today we have a panel of expert who will take you through the journey of the potential of agriculture in madhya pradesh uh, we have ma'am nivedita with us uh, nidhi nivedita and uh, she will be appraising about the blooming horticulture scenario of madhya pradesh ma'am is posted in the capacity of director horticulture and food processing government of madhya pradesh she has been awarded for the commendable efforts in the area of water conservation and management by uh, ministry of water resource river development and ganga rejuvenation by government of india ma'am's core expertise lies in the field of rural development women and child development watershed development sanitation road construction horticulture and food processing uh, ma'am i would like your views on the uh, blooming horticulture scenario of madhya pradesh So good afternoon to all. I would request the presentation to be uploaded.
Okay, so uh, the topic today is uh, the blooming horticulture scenario in Madhya Pradesh. So Madhya Pradesh is basically a state which is not only the heartland of India, but as you will see in the course of the presentation that I make, that Madhya Pradesh has in the last uh, 10 years actually, uh, you know, bloomed in its horticulture production and how so so we have uh, you know identified some nine focus areas which we would be presenting today uh, first is the overview of the entire state how the things have taken off then the bloom how the bloom has occurred in what sectors then role of horticulture department then achievements then we have taken up a special project of gi tagging our horticulture producers then how madhya pradesh uh, is abundant in the various raw material in the sector of horticulture uh, what are the post harvest management facilities available in the state and how the private sector and the government sector need to work together to increase the facilities available in the state. At the same time, how the processing of horticulture produces the need of the day or probably the second uh, bloom that we need to uh, you know, focus on in the state of Madhya Pradesh. Then what are the strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, etc. in Madhya Pradesh and the future, what is the future, how we take up the food processing industry, how we increase the investment opportunities, how we increase the industrial, uh, you know, opportunities in the in horticulture by cluster based approach by uh, the public private partnerships in integrated agriculture and horticulture development, pro uh, processing of the food produce and the marketing, etc. So, uh, overview of the state of Madhya Pradesh, see last 10 years back, there was one joint investigation team by the government of India, in which several areas of opportunities for Madhya Pradesh were identified. And in the last 10 years, uh, Madhya Pradesh currently now has the largest area under horticulture production. So, 25.83 lakh hectares of the area of Madhya Pradesh is under horticulture production. The largest horticulture production in the country is also in Madhya Pradesh, that is 387.95 lakh tons. We stand first in the overall horticulture production as well as in the medicinal spices, uh, vegetable production, Madhya Pradesh is number one in the country. We stand second in the production of flowers and fruits and third in aromatic crops. Madhya Pradesh, because of its huge expanse from east to west, has the distinction of having 11 agroclimatic zone and has a very central location. Initially, when the Britishers planned the entire railway network, the various stations like Ratlam, Satna, Katni, etc., which have been, uh, which are in Madhya Pradesh, were planned to basically, you know, transport the goods from uh, the central location of the state to the various ports like Madras, Calcutta, etc. So Madhya Pradesh is very well served with the entire central location and the logistics uh, development which will further share is, again now as you see the bloom we have uh, you know the area under horticulture production in uh, lakh hectares was to in 2013 14 it was 15 lakh hectares it increased to 26 lakh hectares today again uh, horticulture production has increased again from 200 ton to 388 ton then in vegetables production we have increased from 122 to 245 most of the india is the ma largest producer of uh, vegetables and fruits in the world and in that madhya pradesh is the leading producer in the country and this is continuously increasing in the state of madhya pradesh in last 10 years the fruits production has bloomed from 42 ton to 95 ton again in spices we have increased and flowers we have increased the, as you see, uh, this data is collected from the Farmer Department of Farmer Welfare and Agriculture Department. Cereals consumption is continuously declining. The last uh, such a survey was done in 11-12, so this data covers 93-94 to 11-12. In the 10 years, there was a decline in the usage or the you know consumption of cereals and the vegetables consumption is increasing. This is another indicator that how the bloom of horticulture produce has occurred uh, in Madhya Pradesh. Salient features that of the bloom is, are that first of all, while the area has grown four times, if you see in the, the, the data that I you know mentioned in the first two slides, in the last 20 years, the production has grown by 10 times, which means that the productivity per area, per hectare has also increased. Madhya Pradesh has become the largest producer of oranges and coriander in the country, second largest producer of garlic. In fact, recently, uh, last year when 
we were like uh, you know we had a garlic uh, price in instability so at that time 67% of the garlic of the entire country is being produced in madhya pradesh but however because most many of the much of the garlic is also exported and uh, this uh, these are exported through ports of Ma maharashtra and uh, tamil nadu and uh, west bengal so much of the data is also counted in their production which is actually the production of the state of madhya pradesh so garlic tomato green peas guava green chili and onion are we are the second largest producer third largest producer of citrus fruits like lemon cabbage and flowers one of the uh, 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 in just 6 years if you see the madhya pradesh state's horticulture production has ranked uh, was earlier ranked 6th now we are first in the country now uh, how the horticulture department has engaged with the farmers so uh, we have various schemes which are running uh, under which we aid the farmers in increasing the area the production productivity of horticulture crops our role is also to produce and distribute high quality planting material and seeds to ensure precision farming and micro irrigation to encourage mechanization to improve post harvest management to aid in processing marketing and export of horticulture crops and to conduct various farmer training and exposure visit programs now to implement the various gui and the uh, uh, schemes like midh rk vy pmk sy pmfme uh, efficiently we are working towards to gi give its benefit to the farmers we are also promoting introduction of exotic fruits in the state like dragon fruit passion fruits um, cashew nuts strawberry and pear strengthening of government nurseries and training center as i mentioned to we are one of the core thing that we are we need to work on is the production of quality planting material and production of seeds so we need to strengthen our government nurseries and training centers uh, in 10 uh, 10 years back we had 178 nurseries that were department run today we have 300 nurseries in the state which are run by the department then uh, in, in order to improve the efficient running of the nurseries we have also developed one nursery portal in which you know we are uh, we are selling our uh, produce and uh, entire inventory is being now managed online and we are able to sell the plants also online now we are also focusing on convergence with the narega scheme so that the planting material uh, production resources financial resources can be merged with manrega then application for accreditation or we have made application for accreditation of 156 nurseries of the state then some center of excellences for vegetable and for citrus fruit and mango uh, to one uh, mango one is under construction and uh, center of excellence for vegetables has already uh, started its operations we want to now work on the cluster based approach which means that uh, you know we, we for example we have identified clusters uh, for tomato pr produce for example devas indore etc and lassan and uh, onion at the same time also we have taken up one pppid project in morena where we are collaborating with pepsico and upl where the farmers can grow chips variety of potato and it can be marketed to pepsico so uh, to encourage the mechanization we have tied up also with the directorate of agriculture engineering and we have tied up with world bank uh, international finance corporations india in agtech advisory project under which uh, we will be systematically introducing various technologies available in the horticulture sector many a times the farmers are unaware of the various technological machines or the other equipments that they can use in production so that is also uh, being taken care of now to support weaker sections like scst women and small and marginal farmers we have tied up for top up subsidy with various other departmental schemes one such scheme is the watershed scheme then there are various schemes of the tribal department with which we have tied up for this to aid in the processing marketing and export of horticulture uh, crops we conducted one international odop exposition in the month of march uh, this year at the same time we have tied up with apeda to pro uh, promote this uh, again madhya pradesh is also one of the uh, has one of the largest area under organic or natural farming so to promote natural farming is also one of the aims of the madhya pradesh government so and many areas since they are already naturally farmed so we are trying to uh, encourage other farmers also to take up such practices gi tagging of horticulture produce of madhya pradesh is also one of the historical uh, you know strategy uh, that we have taken up so that our produce can be there in the market everyone knows uh, the nagpur orange uh, you know nagpur orange is actually you know much of the area is actually in the in the state of madhya pradesh but it has they have uh, already got the gi tagged as nagpur orange so they are so we are now trying to pioneer that 
so that our uh, 16 such products we have identified for you know so that madhya pradesh products can get the recognition that they deserve again uh, they, this i will be in sh uh, discussing in short there are uh, initially focused on the bloom the bloom has occurred and now in the next stage you want to focus on the second bloom which is the processing horticulture produce uh, can only sustain or double a farmer's income if we have uh, sufficient uh, post harvest management technologies and if we have the sufficient food processing infrastructure available in the state so for promoting the food processing we have two schemes currently running that is one is madhya pradesh food processing uh, the policy 2014 under which we have a state scheme running and uh, the second uh, one is the Pradhan Mantri formalization of micro enterprises scheme under this scheme which was initially a non-starter in the last year we have started it in a big way and currently 2857 individuals have been uh, sanctioned loans uh, for, uh, for this and received sub subsidies at the same time 6774 small uh, sorry self-help group women's uh, beneficiaries have also been benefited under this. Uh, these are the achievements. I will uh, uh, this again. All our schemes which are being implemented, they are being implemented through an online uh, MP farmer uh, subsidy tracking system, which is an online portal, which is uh, through which the farmer can apply one time. They, they can register, and whenever the schemes are targets are released, they can take the benefit. Now, in this year, we have now started also including the um, vendor management system in this so that we are able to track that the supplies are qualitative and the supplies are being delivered on time. Uh, as I was uh, talking about the geographical indications tagging, in the state of Madhya Pradesh, we have identified 16 uh, GI products or the uh, products which have a potential of getting GI tagged for it, the unique, uh, you know, unique uh, taste or the unique color or the unique uh, features that they have. For example, three of these products pictures I have shared. One is Balam Khira. This is of district Ratlam. This Balam Khira is like a normal cucumber, but it is famous for its juicy taste. It has medicinal properties and it is also has a, has a special flavor with yellow, green and saffron color being exported to Saudi Arabia and Kuwait. They are rich in nutrients like calcium, iron, magnesium, zinc, chromium and selenium. The second one is Kumbraj Dhania from district Guna. It has a sharper and better taste. It has bright green color, perfect shape and size and excellent aroma. It contains 04 to 0.5% volatile oil due to which it has a very good aroma and sweetness. Now this is the last one is this Jira one which is a mixture of various spices. It is from Indore. It's a special type of spice mixture made with more than 20 carefully selected spices and is a great flavor en enhancer and widely used in Indori Poha. Now these are the other products that we have identified. Burhanpur ka Kela, Dhar ki Khursani Imli, Satna ki Khurchan, Alirajpur ka Noor Jahan aur Achari Aam, Jabalpuriya Matar, Malwa ka Garadu, Indor, Ujjain aur Devas ka Malvi Alu, Betul ka Gajariya Aam, Sivni ka Sita Fal, Narsingpur ka Gud aur Narsingpur ka Barman Bhatta, Jabalpur ka Singhada aur Son Kach Devas ki Mama Bati. So now uh, these slides are basically sharing about how the uh, uh, um, uh, raw material under horticulture is very abundantly available in the state. So in orange you can see the major variety is Nagpur Mandarin, uh, Kino and the Mosambi and grown in the districts of Agar, Malwa, Chhindwada and Rajgarh. And these are the processing products. Investment opportunities in this is sorting, grading and packaging units for exports. In Guava, we have major varieties Sardar, Allahabad, Safeda, Gwalior, Sattais, Seedless, Lalita, Shweta and Thai Guava. In these districts, it is being grown in Khargon, Riva, Vidisha, Indore, Katni, Singroli, Shiopur, Sihor, Morena and Ratlam. Now, uh, Kela is being grown in Khandwa, Burhanpur, Dhar and Badwani and we majorly grow Dwarf Cavendish variety G9. Next one is tomato. So we grow improved natural varieties and hybrid F1, F1 varieties in the districts of Shipuri, Chindwada, Dhar, Sagar, Jhabua, Shahjapur, Raisen, Jabalpur, Devas and Riva. Largest, we are the largest tomato producing uh, state in the country and uh, investment opportunities in sorting, grading, packing units for tomatoes and export houses for tomatoes. Uh, this uh, green piece particularly as I had also shared in Jabalpuriya Matar, this has a very unique taste. It has a very, it is grown in a geographical region or in, in conditions that gives it its rich taste. 
uh, major variety that is being grown is Shubra, KMPR 400, KMPR 552, Pusa Mukta, etc. And in the districts majorly in Jabalpur, Chhindwada, Ratlam, Indore, Devas, Ujjain, Narsingpur, etc. Next we have abundant availability as I shared initially also of garlic. Uh, the major varieties and districts are mentioned there. Uh, Riyawan silver garlic from Madhya Pradesh is having export quality, uh, size and rich in color. And investment opportunities again sorting, grading, packing, branding units for exports. Uh, in, in Chile particularly, uh, Madhya Pradesh is fourth largest producer of dry, dry chili, but there are several, some, uh, there is one this uh, Khargon uh, uh, chili, which is very uh, different or very unique taste and uh, which is also preferred by many people. Uh, then there is coriander, again these are the varieties and the districts uh, as shown. Now Madhya Pradesh, uh, what are the you know strengths of Madhya Pradesh? Madhya Pradesh is connected with uh, because of its central location connected with most of the bordering state it has 11 agroclimatic zone export oriented SEZ and industrial lands have been uh, you know set up in Madhya Pradesh competitive advantage in food production and improved soil health now next we uh, see as the opportunity we are the sec since uh, second has been mentioned wrong largest producer of horticulture crops and we have opportunities in processing Farmers can do crop processing with farming, horticulture based processing industries are 2 to 4 percent which leads to immense opportunities in the field of processing. Now uh, even though the, uh, the area which horticulture crops actually occupy that is quite less but its contribution to GDP because most of the horticulture crops are high value crops so contribution to the state's, uh, state's GDP is much higher. Uh, organic farming again uh, is one of the major opportunity that we need to work on. More uh, standardized uh, so processes we need to develop and we need to you know, encourage the private farms, firms which can set up uh, the various uh, you know, enterprises there. Uh, again, uh, inadequate availability of planting material is one of the major challenges because many of the, let's say for example, orange. So orange planting material we really need to work on so that, you know, many of these planting materials are being developed from outside the state. So we need to, you know, invite people on a PPP mode also who can help us in, uh, you know, increasing the availability of planting material. Again, uh, I will now move to the cold storage capacity of the state. So um, uh, as you can see, uh, Madhya Pradesh is the largest producer of horticulture crops, but if you see the cold storage facility, so it stands seventh in the country. And if you see by actual numbers also, it is quite, um, you know, behind. If uh, in Madhya Pradesh has taken a leadership, uh, you know, in increasing the cold storage facility, but still we need uh, the the demand is much more as compared to the speed at which this is growing. So this is one sector where we need private investment and we need people to, you know, increase. Uh, the facilities in the state. Uh, so uh, again, highest certified organic agriculture is being done in Madhya Pradesh. Surplus availability of agri-horticulture produce. There are 770 active FPOs in the state. 17 percent of total transactions are farm gate purchase. Then there is 45 lakh hectares, which is irrigated area in the in the state. Then uh, we have uh, more than 3,440 custom hiring centers in the state, 4,000 food processing based MSME units are there and we have uh, you know, the A, the 39 AIM uh, standard mandis and again notified fruit and vegetable markets are 173. If you see uh, how we are industry ready, again, uh, this is a little bit the same data that we have shared in the last slide. These are the various infrastructure. We have um, eight uh, food parks, we have five agro processing clusters and two mega food parks in the state in the Indus mega food park at Khargon and Avanti mega food park at Devas. So um, uh, again, logistics, I earlier also shared 2.88 lakh kilometer road network is there in the state, 60 daily flights from Madhya Pradesh to major cities in India and 425 trains transit through MP, daily covering 723 stations, 9 inland container depots con connect Madhya Pradesh to all the major ports in India. These are the various key players currently existing but as you can see most of these are in the food processing sector. We need more investment and more players to you know enter Madhya Pradesh with the idea or the vision of developing its post harvest management infrastructure at the same time developing its uh, you know processing infrastructure as well even this is insufficient so with this i would like to conclude uh, my presentation thank you so much thank you ma'am 
the horticulture scenario definitely looks very promising yes there are definitely few areas which needs to be work upon but i am sure the department and the government is actually actively working on it uh, now uh, like a healthy diet helps us to maintain good health and prevent disease and there is a growing awareness of these benefits madhya pradesh has been one of india's leading state in organic farming as ma'am has also shared it contributes to more than 40% of organic food production in india to discuss in detail about the production capacity of madhya pradesh in terms of organic cultivation and millet production now i would like to invite shri s c singhadia sir additional director farmer welfare and agriculture development madhya pradesh sir has an extensive experience of 34 years in the field of agriculture extension services crop productivity enhancement and pr uh, promotion of crop diversification A respected dais and respected delegates जैसा मैडम ने भी डायरेक्टर हॉर्टिकल्चर मैडम ने कहा उसके उनको छोड़ते हुए मैं अपनी इसमें कुछ सबमिट करूंगा मध्य प्रदेश इज ए हार्ट ऑफ इनक्रेडिबल इंडिया बिकॉज एनुअल एवरेज रेनफॉल इज 700 टू 1200 मिलीमीटर एंड 40 रेनी डेज डाइवर्सिफाइड ऑफ लैंड एंड डाइवर्सिफिकेशन इन क्रॉप्स एंड डाइवर्सिफाइड फार्मिंग इन मध्य प्रदेश so that there is huge potentiality for sustainable agriculture madhya pradesh is a is a leading state of organic farming as per npop data more near about 16 lakh hectares of the registered area and 8 lakh hectare of the uh, by default area of organic um, farming so in a food for health and wellness madhya pradesh has a wide range of uh, agri produces jaise spices fruits vegetables millets oil seeds oil seed pulses fl flowers medicinal so there is huge and uh, abundant quantity of the processing ultimately it will help us for health and wellness yes a major cereal crops recent data i would like to present here paddy paddy is a hardy crop which is grown in mean sea level below from mean sea level to uh, himalaya throughout the country so madhya pradesh has the 38 lakh hectare area and production 131 hectare than no, lakh metric ton jowar slightly in um, decreasing but bajra is a major area in bhindar murena gwalior 3.6 lakh hectare uh, production is 10 lakh hectare 10 lakh metric ton so bajra is neutral neutral cereal uh, neut uh, neutral crop so neutral millets maize area is increasing further in madhya pradesh previously it was it, it limited to the chhindwara and adjoining but it uh, increases towards uh, shepuri guna ethanol plants uh, are uh, uh, most mo most suitable for this areas kodo kutki is in uh, tribal areas 1.45 lakh hectares and 1.4 lakh metric ton production cereal crop in kharif 
वन नाइंटी लैक मैट्रिक टन खरी पल्सिस इज द से अरहर वन पॉइंट सिक्स लैक मैट्रिक लैक हेक्टर एरिया वन पॉइंट फोर सिक्स प्रोडक्शन लैक मैट्रिक टन प्रोडक्शन उड़द इज ए मेजर एरिया इन खरी पल्सिस 12.5 लाख हेक्टेयर आउट ऑफ प्रोडक्शन इज 7.76 लाख मैट्रिक टन ऑयल सीड्स खरीफ ऑयल सीड्स ग्राउंड नट इज द मेजर एरिया इन बुंदेलखंड शिवपुरी एडजॉइनिंग सम पार्ट ऑफ द गुना शिवपुरी करेरा खनियाधाना एंड देनारा इज द क्लस्टर For this groundnut uh, crop, export quality production in that area 3.86 lakh hectare, and production is 7.9 metric, lakh metric ton. Ram till is negligible. Till is uh, 2.89 lakh hectare, and production is slightly. poor because some climatics this crop is highly sensitive for climatic variations and diseases so that production is very poor 1.45 lakh metric ton soybean is decreasing in area up to 59 lakh ton lakh hectares and production is 63 lakh metric ton Previously, it was Madhya Pradesh was known as the soya state, but some uh, since uh, 2012, to continuously many problems occurred in soya bean, so that area gradually decreased, and uh, paddy area takes place. Total oil seed production is 72. Lack metric ton. Further, cotton area is in a cluster, Indore and Ujjain, Khandwa, Khargon, Jhabua, Ali Rajpur. 5.95 lakh hectare area of cotton and production is 8.9 metric ton, lakh metric ton. Rabi crops me beet is the major area, 97.8 lakh hectare. Uh, production is abundant we are having the uh, 40 349 lakh metric ton of the production and barley is negligible area in the wheat we are having the durum wheat and uh, sarvati wheat durum for pasta industries most favorable pizza noodle and uh, so many product produce ravi pulses gram is the major crop 21 lakh hectare uh, which is grown in the malwa region that is it is the uh, cluster for gram production of gram is 35 lakh metric ton there is the bold seeded gram uh, it was locally known as the dollar gram some varieties are identified and some are improved varieties medium seeded medium size lentil area is the 6.5 lakh hectare lentil is a ye jaise aapka raisan ka area some cluster of the lentil is the bold seeded lentil that is a batra area is having the bold seeded lentil a production of the lentil 7.5 lakh metric ton field p table p already discussed by the madam but field p in uh, uh, madhya pradesh slightly um, uh, 
decrease 1.3 lakh hectare and production is also 1.39 lakh metric ton. Rabi pulses is total 44 lakh metric ton. Further, mustard is area in oil seed is big area. Uh, must, a cluster area in Madhya Pradesh, muster, mustard in uh, Bhind, Morena, uh, Shopur and Gwalior. 12.73 lakh hectare and production from mustard area 19.6 lakh metric ton. Morena district Morena uh, there are so many uh, oil mills, expellers and uh, Morena Istra are using for fuel. Yeah, bri Istra bricks some peoples are uh, ma make uh, extra bricks. Linseed area is negligible further, but linseed is uh, uh, production is so poor. Uh, total rabi oil seeds production is 20 lakh metric ton. Third crop in the summer area, Urad slightly increasing and moong area is rapidly increasing it was before five year hardly one lakh hectare uh, increase up to the 12 lakh hectare cluster of the summer moong is in Narvadapuram, Harda and uh, some part of Betul 12 lakh hectare area of the summer moong green gram and production from that area is 16.89 lakh metric ton. Summer ground data further negligible. Organic cultivation as we discussed, ye, this area from NPOP site 15 lakh 17,000. Production from that area ये टोटल जो है ये मैट्रिक टन है एट टू फाइव सिक्स टू फाइव सिक्स मैट्रिक टन एरिया अंडर बाइल्ड कलेक्शन एट थाउजेंड फोर हंड्रेड ये है ना एट्टी थाउजेंड ये एट्टी थाउजेंड फोर हंड्रेड एट लैक फोर थाउजेंड एट हंड्रेड सिक्सटी फोर हेक्टेयर सो प्रोडक्शन फ्रॉम दैट एरिया 2,336 metric ton. By default, organic farming is being done uh, in by uh, some tribal areas. So, some countries are required without any standardization or certification. They are getting from the tribal areas but our farmers not uh, uh, receiving the prime price from that produce. Natural farming, just a new concept. Still new concept in the sense it was the previously adopted by our forefathers. Um, Madhya Pradesh government ये 25 अप्रैल 2022 को प्राकृतिक बोर्ड बनाया गया है नेचुरल फार्मिंग के लिए जिसमें ये 97,000 फार्मर्स ने एक लाख चासी हजार एक्टर पर पंजीयन भी करा लिया है इतने स्टार्टिंग ईयर इसको प्रमोट डिफरेंट स्कीम्स से हम ट्रेनिंग प्रोग्राम्स करा के इसको आगे ले जा रहे हैं मिलेट्स का यहाँ फूड बल्ड फूड इंडिया 2023 में कई स्टेट की एग्जीबिशंस में हमने मिलेट का वो प्रोडक्ट्स अनेक प्रोडक्ट्स देखे इंटरनेशनल मिलेट ईयर्स के दौरान इतना इसका प्रचार प्रसार हुआ है कि अनेकों प्रोडक्ट हमारे सामने आज मार्केट में कई प्रोसेसर्स इसको लेकर के आए हुए हैं तो मध्य प्रदेश हैज ए गुड पोटेंशियल फॉर द मिलेट्स Total millets area in Madhya Pradesh year-wise 
we can see here uh, just uh, area 6.2 lakh hectare and production from that area is still 13 lakh metric ton uh, it, it this is the increasing order nutritional value isko dekhe to khodon kutki ki energy bhi isme achhi hai protein 8 ये पर हंड्रेड ग्राम है 8.03 ग्राम और कार्बोहाइड्रेट 69.9 क्रूड फाइबर 8.5 मिलीग्राम आयरन भी 9.9 मिलीग्राम कोदो कुटकी का जो एरिया है और प्रोडक्शन है ये पेस्पेलम स्कॉर्विकुलेटम इसका ईयर वाइज भी एक इंक्रीजिंग ऑर्डर में है still uh, 1.67 lakh hectare area of this crop and production is 1.61 lakh metric ton uh, this uh, production is uh, uh, absolutely a um, organic production organic produce thank you singhadia mm. sir uh, data is very impressive और अगर हम एक्सपोर्ट की बात करें तो हम मध्य प्रदेश में बैठ के कॉटन तो एक्सपोर्ट कर ही रहे हैं बहुत अच्छे लेवल पे और बहुत अच्छे ब्रांड्स हैं जो हमारे यहाँ से प्रिक्योर करते हैं सोयाबीन में बहुत अच्छा काम कर रहे हैं नेक्स्ट मूविंग फर्दर ये जस्ट ए मिनट मैं इसमें एक जीआई टैगिंग विद दो प्रोडक्ट है जिनका जी टैगिंग हमने रिसीव किया है ये एक तो चिन्ह और बालाघाट राइस है बालाघाट चेन्नौर इसका अभी पिछले ही साल रजिस्ट्र टैग मिला है रजिस्ट्रेशन हुआ है तो इसके लिए अपार संभावना है और इसको काफी एरिया में हम लोग उसको ले जाएंगे अभी इसका चेन्नौर की जो वैरायटी यहाँ पर स्पेसिफिक दिया हुआ है इसका क्या गुण है इसमें दूसरा ये अभी जो बड़ा एरिया है गेहूं का आपका सीहोर बेदसा देवास ये सरबती भीट गेहूं का इसका भी जीआई टैग मिल चुका है इसकी भी अच्छी इसकी अच्छी क्वालिटी है इसमें ये बायो फोर्टिफाइड नेचर का है ओडीओपी में भी मध्य प्रदेश में सिक्स प्रोडक्ट इन एग्रीकल्चर एरिया में है खोदों कुटकी के लिए चार चार डिस्ट्रिक्ट से अनूपपुर मंडला डिंडोरी एंड सिंगरौली तो इसका एरिया भी काफ़ी अच्छा हमारे पास है फूड डिस्ट्रिक्ट में डिस्ट्रिक्ट बालाघाट इज द चिन्न और राइस का अभी एरिया इज स्लाइटली कम ये डिस्ट्रिक्ट दमोह में ग्राम और डिस्ट्रिक्ट राइस एंड बासमती राइस इट इज एड जॉइनिंग टू द भोपाल नरसिंहपुर तुअर दाल बहुत फेमस दाल है नरसिंहपुर की मस्टर्ड फर्दर इन भिंडर एंड मुरैना थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू सर मध्य प्रदेश इज प्रमोटिंग मिलेट्स स्पेशली कोदो एंड लिटिल मिलेट कुटकी अंडर द सेंटर्स न्यूट्री सीरियल स्कीम एज वी सेलिब्रेट इंटरनेशनल ईयर ऑफ मिलेट विद द ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ प्रोवाइडिंग अ वंस इन अ लाइफ टाइम ऑपरचुनिटी to raise awareness of millet cultivation and contribute to food security and nutrition boosting farmers income and livelihood today we have with us dr rachna chaturvedi who is working as a research head with icit group of universities bhopal ma'am will share her insights on growing opportunities in superfood in madhya pradesh okay thank you alka ji Uh, good evening to all the dignitaries sitting on the dais as well as in the audience. Uh, yeah, thank you. So today I will be basically talking about the what are the opportunities which are there in the superfoods, see, and the role of ramen greens. See what happens is in the changing world, uh, the importance of superfoods is increasing tremendously. Now people are more health conscious and they want to have something which is a nutrient filled thing apart from wheat or rice. So here comes the role of superfoods. 
Now the question comes into the mind is, what exactly is superfoods? I'm not going to give any definition of superfoods, but I'll tell you, these are millets. Jisko hum Hindi mein mota bajra kehte hain. And there are variety of uh, millets available. Foxtail millet, pearl millet, finger millets, then jawahar, bajra, no, all the varieties available. Kodo millet, kutki. These are all the type of millets which are grown in Madhya Pradesh. So if you see the slide, you will understand the background of the international scenario, what is happening in the world as far as the millet production is concerned. If you see this pie chart, you will understand that India is contributing to the 41% of total production of millets. And uh, approximately um, India, Niger, China, uh, Mali and uh, Burkina, Kina Faso, they are the top producers of uh, millet production and best part about all these common countries is the millet is grown in those areas which are, which are drought prone areas. So it's something uh, which doesn't require much of a water also. So when a government is saying conserve the water, then the next thing which comes into the mind is millet. Why not? We, we can have something which is nutritious and doesn't consume much water also in growing. So uh, let's come to the domestic scenario of India. What's, see, uh, the state of Rajasthan, Madhya Pradesh, Karnataka, Andhra Pradesh, they are the major producers of millet and Production of millet in million uh, tons is uh, approximately total to 21.32. Uh, my fellow colleagues have already shared the statistics uh, uh, before my slides. So I will not go into detail of these statistics. I'm just showing you the a broader picture of uh, what is happening in the uh, country uh, regarding the domestic uh, uh, production of millet. Now let us come to Madhya Pradesh. Uh, if you see the Madhya Pradesh, yes, it's it's a name. Uh, it's a state which is, uh, you know, you can say they're making their presence in the production of uh, millets. Uh, Rajasthan, yes, definitely number one. Uh, Maharashtra, Uttar Pradesh, Karnataka and Madhya Pradesh, you can see Gujarat and Haryana is also coming up with the millet production these days. So the, my, uh, aim of showing this particular thing, particular uh, slide is that overall, over a period of time, the states are now realizing this fact that it's good to grow millet, shift their production from wheat or rice to the millet or some other crop. So now, if you see the past data, you will realize this fact that farmers are shifting to millet production. So it's a positive kind of a change which is happening in country as well as in Madhya Pradesh also. There are certain facts about Madhya Pradesh that it is the fifth largest uh, producer of millet in India. Uh, they are the fifth largest producer of pearl millet. Uh, uh, Productivity of uh, pearl millet in Madhya Pradesh is uh, 2458 kgs per hectare and uh, the thing is that uh, basically uh, the area is, uh, of uh, millet production is it keeps on increasing and the production is also increasing. So that's the main thing and definitely the government is uh, contributing to that. Uh, they are providing subsidies to the farmers for millet production. Uh, they are promoting millet-based products, uh, cropping system through millet mission. Then they are organizing the millet festivals so that to make the farmers aware what exactly this crop is and how to make recipes or how to uh, use that particular thing. So in urban areas as well as in rural areas, people are not realizing this fact that uh, how to properly use the millet. Uh, abhi recent, mein, uh, just uh, ha, one hour back, I was uh, uh, going through those stalls on the millet and, and you won't believe it, they have, you know, made so many products out of the millet. 
pastas to every from uh, what not like imagine puffs and pastas and uh, pastries and cookies and everything yeah a variety of products so the so now it is not restricted to roti banana the products are available in minutes and you just have to go and eat it that's it it's a it's a highly nutritious thing and developing new and innovative millet based products so this is what innovation is again benefits of millet i am not going into that but it re definitely reduces cholesterol full of iron calcium b12 helps in kidney functions and reduces our bp these are the common problems which the urban population is facing these days everyone is having a bp everyone is more or less having a cholesterol problem so why not shift to millets it prevents type 2 diabetes yes definitely it prevents but once you have it it controls your sugar levels also so there are a lot of benefits for millets yeah now let's come to the raman greens uh, it's a case study uh, which uh, of icit group uh, where we are basically dealing with kodo millet and kutki millet now we are basically making lot of products out of these two we have taken only these kodo and kutki uh it's a i as i told you it's an icit group venture icit group is a 500 crore turnover group uh, based in bhopal madhya pradesh uh, which are into skilling education and food processing agriculture food processing units we have and uh, they are the ones who have started come came up with this idea a long time back and they started with this raman greens private limited startup and uh, over a period of time we came up with lot of products and now we are uh, selling into uh, the market uh, uh, the aim of the raman green is to give a healthy and sustainable lifestyle to the people so now that is a benefit to the society which we are giving uh, if people are aware what the healthy lifestyle is definitely it will help us to you know give something back to the society uh, we also provide uh, you know capacity building and marketing linkages to the local farmers and uh, and that way we are helping those people in, in further employment as well as generating money out of that so livelihood is somehow connected with the the this part also and uh, then we deal with the products uh, made from kodu or kutki millets and uh, we are procuring all these kodu and kutki millets from the farmers of dinduri that is a tribal district of madhya pradesh so that way the farmers are also benefited out of this and uh, we are converting their produce into a uh, eatable items for the urban as well as for the rural population now these are our millet processing units in dinduri bhopal and khanwa region uh, we have an automation automated plant where we are producing all these products uh, as far as these plants uh, setups are concerned basically they are uh, employment generation for uh, because uh, obviously uh, certain local uh, people are required to handle these operations so it's kind of uh, you know mm, helping the local population in employment generation also as well as the money making part then it is supporting the farmers we are encouraging them to uh, produce millet so that we are basically creating a uh, supply chain so that their produce can be sold into the market or we take those Uh, produce for our own products so that way farmers are being benefited and they don't uh, you know feel ki that what to do with their produce if they are producing something now what to do with that so we are there to help them out in that then i uh, definitely uh, since this is a uh, main uh, aim of our uh, company then in that case definitely the area where our plants are located uh, the millet production has definitely increased uh, it is leading to a uh, economic development also economic development is as uh, everyone knows it is directly related to the purchasing power the more money they have the more purchasing power they have and the more development will happen in those areas so these are all tribal areas and over a and 
it's developing because of these units. And uh, the last is we are aligned with the United Nations uh, Sustainable Development Goals also by helping these uh, tribal and uh, rural population mm -hmm. people uh, for self-sufficiency. Uh, this is our product range of cookies that uh, they come in six flavors in uh, packs as well as in the tin containers. And uh, these are the range of snacks that protein bars, snacky sticks, big matri, toast, khari's and chocolates, protein bars. So uh, they come in the pouches as well as in the tins as well as in the packets. Uh, now these are uh, the Kodo millet grains uh, and Kodo millet uh, fl flour and both the things. So the shelf life of uh, these products is pretty good. See, we are not using any maida or a binding agent in these products. I am not sitting in this platform to promote my uh, product. I am sitting on this platform to just tell you that these kind of products are being uh, you know, uh, they are being made and people should be made aware. It's not about profit, it is about awareness. Then we have an online market presence also on Amazon, Swiggy, Flipkart. Then we have our own website where you can uh, uh, order online also. This is our premium export quality packing of, we are into uh, we are into Western Africa also, Togo, Ghana. And uh, we are, uh, you know, uh, selling our products or you can say we are promoting our products over there also. So this is our premium export quality packing for uh, outside. Uh, these are the government associations which we had. Uh, that 10,000 millet cookie boxes as a part of welcome kit was given for as an investor submit in 2023. And uh, 300 millet cookie boxes were given in G20 summit, which was held in Bhopal. So uh, all the delegates uh, had a pleasure of eating our uh, cookies. Then these are the uh, glimpses of Raman Green millet products, which uh, if you see these slides, you'll f see that in these photographs, this uh, particular was uh, held in Togo. Uh, that is Lome uh, in West Africa where uh, uh, our products were purchased by the local people of uh, Togo. And uh, it was a huge success because the thing is that people, as far as the millets are concerned, people are, uh, you know, they are not aware what else can be made out of it. They are more aware that roti hi banti hai. Like, that's it. So, it's our aim to make them aware. Then this was the millet conclave held in Mandala in 21-22. Then uh, Honorable Minister of Food Processing Industry, Sri Prahlad Singh Ji, he visited our uh, stall. He is really, uh, you know, uh, health conscious, that way you can say. Um, this was uh, with the Honorable Minister Sri Prahlad Singh Ji, with the sh our Chairman Shri Santosh Chaube Ji and uh, Siddharth Chaturvedi, our Executive Vice Pres President. Then um, these are the few reviews which were there uh, by the people. Uh, Again, these are the reviews, online reviews, which people gave regarding her. Then we have a retail presence also. Uh, our products are being kept on the shelf of the supermarkets and uh, places. Now the question is, the last slide is way forward. What is our futurist things? Uh, definitely we want to expand our uh, range of products. Uh, organize more workshops regarding the uh, millet products and it, their nutritional quality. Uh, me being an HR uh, research head, uh, my aim is to get, uh, to submit the projects uh, related to the nutritional efficiency of the millets uh, and how it is improving the health of the people. Uh, 
expand uh, the farmer base for maximum benefit then uh, uh, we want a support from the government it is our just a suggestion that government should support uh, in assessing the export market for millets uh, abhi tak whatever we are doing we are doing it on our own but if the government is helping us out definitely the uh, it will be a much better uh, way and uh, we matlab uh, it's uh, like a request that uh, if government can use uh, millet based products for uh, government events for gifting as well as for giving it to their delegates and clients so that way basically uh, government uh, is promoting the millet based products so bolne mein hame ki मिलेट खाइए आप मिलेट के प्रोडक्ट्स खाइए आप यू यूज द रेसिपीज यू यूज दिस थिंग बट इट्स सो डिफिकल्ट बट वेन यू आर गिविंग इट टू सम वन देन द एक्चुअल स्टोरी चार्ज देन द अवेयरनेस चार्ज आई ऑलवेज गो आई ऑलवेज वेन आई विजिट एनी वन आई ऑलवेज टेक मिलेट कुकीज विद मी आई डोंट टेक एनी मिठाई आई डोंट टेक एनी ड्राई फ्रूट्स सो दैट वे एक्चुअली द पीपल स्टार्ट ओ दे आर वेरी गुड that's the main aim and becoming a leading brand so this is our it's a very small aim it's a very small way forward for us but still we are uh, thinking that way and uh, if you have any further queries kindly visit our stall that is a41 hall number 3 so that's it thank you so much thank you ma'am and indeed इंडियंस uh, ने इतनी रिसर्च करी है मिलेट्स के साथ कि आप जो सोचें वो प्रोडक्ट बनाया yes, हुआ है यस यू विल बी मेसमराइज बाय यू नो द फ्लेवर्स दे हैव पुट इन एंड इट इज कमेंडेबल इंडियंस फूड मैन्युफैक्चरिंग इंडस्ट्री इज वर्थ ओवर 400 बिलियन यूएस डॉलर्स and is expected to grow it will reach uh, 535 billion us dollars by the year 2526 india has a strong position in food production globally and is ranked as the second largest producer of agriculture and allied sector products after china today we have uh, shri rishikesh ramani with us he is heading manufacturing at dabur india Sir is managing 12 dabur factories in India and one each respectively in Nepal, Sri Lanka and Bangladesh. Sir, we would like to have your views please. So, good afternoon. Uh my name is Rishikesh. Oh, I don't have uh I don't have slides, so I'll uh, have some notes. I'll I'll uh cover the topic that I've been given. so i have been given a topic uh, industry consciousness in healthy packaged foods uh, i represent dabur right uh, all of you must be familiar with dabur and as an organization uh, our only goal is to improve the health and well being of every household so that's the simplest goal possible the second goal which is uh, very relevant especially in the post covid times is to contemporize ayurveda right so ayurveda is not something which is all about jadi buti etc there is a way that it can be contemporized right uh there is always you when you see social media you always carry an opinion that all packaged foods are bad however packaged foods from the time they have entered our lives have given us significant benefits right i just want to outline a few of the benefits right if you talk about convenience i am sure all of us during the covid lockdown etc were thoroughly reliant on packaged foods right be it uh, tea be it uh, instant noodles be it uh, so many of uh, uh, such items right the second thing is that uh, uh, I, i would like to just talk about our product chavan prash the core ingredient of our chavan prash is amla amla is available in a few pockets of india only for 3 to 4 months in a year so processing amla properly in in a in a in a, in a manner as per, as what is specified in the classical granthas and so on helps us process it properly and ensure that your chavan prash is available for all the 12 months i'll also give one more example uh, everybody's favorite uh, alfonso mango right it's grown in what ratnagiri district maharashtra you know devgarh you've got valsad hapus etc but imagine you want to have some hapus in uh, sorry 
uh, you want to have Apu's uh, in, in December, right? Uh, properly packaged without preservatives can be had uh, when, you, when you buy, uh, you know, juices and so on, which are made out of that. Third is variety, right? Uh, today's customer is very, very knowledgeable and very aware of what he or she wants to buy, right? There are certain customers who want to try honey sourced from the Sundarbans because that has got a very distinctive flavor. There are certain customers who want to buy honey sourced from Jammu and Kashmir, right? Uh, there are certain customers who want their children to have honey, but honey has a slightly distinct taste that children may not like immediately. So, to companies like us, to make healthy food accessible to even to the next generation, what do we do? We provide chocolate flavored honey. And we also provide it in a squeezy pack. So squeezy pack, you know, the child takes a slice of bread, squeezes the honey in patterns. They make a jalebi, they write their names, etc. So you contemporize Ayurveda, yet you ensure that healthy customers give the same healthy food to their children in a format that they like, right? So uh, third thing is, you know, uh, if you look at it, travel, right? I mean, uh, I travel a lot and you're hugely reliant on packaged foods while traveling, right? So uh, when you see something in Tetra Pak, uh, this gives you a sense of confidence that look, what is inside is aseptic and I can drink it without uh, further processing. I spent two years of my life in Assam, uh, in, in a location where milk, etc., was not, uh, uh, you know, very easily available. Uh, we used to buy Tetra Pak milk uh, I, with the confidence that this is in Tetra Pak, this has been processed properly, sterilized properly, and that, that gave us a comfort that we are still you know, getting the benefits of milk, though being away from a region where milk is readily available, right? Um, if you look at it, it's also value added pack. You know, you're able to do several things with packaged foods that you wouldn't do otherwise. Uh, there's a very nice innovation. Uh, if you, there's a company called uh, ID Foods, which is very famous for making atas. They have come up with a very nice innovation. You know, one of the biggest problems is when you try to make a medu vada, getting the donut shape is very difficult, right? I have tried it and uh, it's very difficult. They have made a, a, a packaging design in such a way that when you squeeze, automatically the vada comes out in a medu vada kind of shape. So what are you doing? You are taking a comfort food, something which is which contains urad dal, which contains all the goodness, and making it contemporary and accessible to people who want to have that, who want to have that in the comfort of the home. Um, that brings us to the next point, which is health awareness about customers. If you look at this pack, I mean, I was cleanly observing this pack. This is nothing but water, right? But the government makes sure that even if you sell a packet of water, you declare what nutrients are present here, right? It is, so it's, it's a jugal bandi. Customers also increasingly, there is a need for healthy processed food. And the government is also pushing mandates in such a way so that organizations are always under tight scrutiny so that we don't compromise on anything, right? Let's, let me take honey. All of you might be familiar with Dabar honey. We are the market leaders in India in organized honey. Uh, we have well before all this social media, etc. came, we pride ourselves in the fact that uh, our honey is traceable farm to fork. We directly work with more than 9,000 beekeepers pan India to get to get you that every the honey which ensures that every drop of honey which comes to you is pure and safe, right? I, I gave an example of Chavan Prash. I gave an example of the pulp we buy. We go directly to mandis and buy amla uh, so that we choose so that you the quality of Chavan Prash that you get. It doesn't change. What what probably our grandfathers ate uh, when they when Dabar used to make Chavan Prash in tins. Uh, the same standard of Chavan Prash you get even to this date. Um, so first, let's get this out of our collective mind that processed food is bad. Not all processed food is bad. And the second thing is that anything had in moderation is always good. Anything had in moderation is always good, right? Uh, responsible organizations like Dabar uh, comply with all the statutory requirements. I mean, there are very clear statutory requirements that the government of India has given us. Whether it is a BIS standards for certain things, whether it is FSSAI standards about n number of tests which have to be done for honey, etc. Responsible organizations have to comply with all those things. When responsible organizations comply with all those things, automatically you are making healthy food for your consumers, right? Uh, there is also an eat right movement, which, which uh, is spearheaded by FSSAI, where uh, it focuses on reducing sugar and salt content uh, in foods without compromising on nutritional value as well as taste. I'm very pleased to share that across our beverages range over the last uh, three to four years, 
on on more than 50% of our products we have reduced sugar content by 20% without compromising any other sensorial <laughs> parameters so and we are we are we have started aggressively taking steps in this direction if we talk about our core chavan prash we also have a chavan prash for diabetics now we also have a chavan prash which is good flavored we are also coming up with several such innovative products in chavan prash a to ensure that health conscious customer gets what they want and b to also make sure that for the next generation chavan prash is not seen like avleha or a paste which grandparents etc have but it is very contemporary and uh, something that the next generation also can consume right uh, coming to our juices space right yes juices have sugar right but some sugar is always good body needs sugar children need sugar to function but for people who don't want sugar but still want to have juices we have something called uh, with with no natural added sugar we have something called an active range of juices with no ad, no uh, added sugar right uh, we also have uh, the other big benefit of of what we are doing is that farmers are also able to uh, uh, you know sell their products to to when when organized companies buy their products they always get a fair market price so when when we make a tomato puree under the homemade brand when we make you know ginger garlic paste and all this, so we we make sure that finally the benefit goes to the final farmer now packaging is also an important part in ensuring healthy food uh, tetra pack right this is a guarantee of uh, uh, you know ensuring that uh, your product is aseptic right most of, you know almost all our products which we make in tetra pack the hygiene the health the there is no preservative in these products it just comes from how we process it pack it and seal it right which is why if you see most of the tetra pack juices it would say consume within 3 4 days after opening right it's because it doesn't have preservatives the uh, and and so that's how you take a product like Alfonso mango it's my favorite that's why i keep repeating it uh, and and you you convert it into a pulp you convert it into a juice in a aseptic manner in tetra pack and you make it available for the customer even in off season and the customer drinks it with the full guarantee that i'm having something healthy i'm also having something which is safe for consumption right uh, we also uh, uh, believe in complete transparency and uh, what you see is what you get uh this is not just something in dabar but all responsible organizations do it so whatever declarations are given on the product and on the uh, on the website that's what is is seen in the product actually right um uh, recently we have also in the juices range there are people who need fibers in their juices so we add fibers there are people who see who feel that their juices you know we need to have vitamin boost so we've got juices range with vitamin a uh you know with uh, vitamin b uh, etc we recently launched uh, i don't know how many of you are aware but we recently launched a cooking oil right oil immediately we associate with cholesterol and heart ailments and so on but there is a herb called arjuna herb which is very good for the heart so we've launched a cooking oil infused with arjuna herb so you can get the benefits of oil but you can also ensure that the 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 impact on on the heart etc is is lower than what uh you know what what it should be right uh, as i always we also have a you know a good uh, chavan prash for the people who want good instead of uh, uh, sugar and so on uh, in summary any responsible organization including dabar we are committed to healthy packaged foods and healthy packaged foods doesn't happen just by good packaging it starts with a sticking to the laws of the land complying with fssa complying with whatever government authorities say b having perfect traceability as well as sourcing the best quality products from the uh, best quality raw material and packaging material zero compromise uh, on, on those parameters um, and uh, not but not the least walking the talk what we declare is what we do and what you see on the product is what you get right uh, our objective over the last 140 years has been uh, to dedicated to the health and well being of india first however we are now in 100 plus countries so we are dedicated and well uh, to the health and well being of every household which buys our product and we are also trying to contemporize ayurveda um last but not the least you know talking about mpidc and madhya pradesh as you know dabar is a is a 12000 crore enterprise and the india business itself is about 9000 crores um and uh, we have uh, invested over the last couple of years uh, uh, more than 500 crores in madhya pradesh uh, uh, right next to natrip uh in in uh, dhar district uh, we have one of our flagship factories which is coming up uh, uh, almost a 40 acre site and uh, probably in the next one year it it uh, it is in the final stages of completion we have already started some production there uh, a lot of intermediates for chavan prash are being made there right now 
uh, we are we have, we have started making hair oils there you are familiar with uh, dabar amla hair oil sarso amla hair oil etc we have started making there we have also started making our juices there uh, soon we'll be started uh, you know starting to make toothpaste there and we have a long list um, and and we are very proud partners uh, uh, in the invest madhya pradesh uh, agenda because madhya pradesh its investment is not just about uh, fiscal benefit what benefits the states are offering etc that is a very short sighted and a tactical approach ultimately organizations invest when yes you get very good benefits single window system and lot of favorable policy stable administration which is there it also has to be a market which is a very growing market which is in the heart of india where i have accessibility to all the states in and around it so from all that perspective that is the reason why we have chosen to invest in madhya pradesh and uh, we are very thankful to mpidc and the entire government of madhya pradesh for making this process uh, very very i've been part of several projects in my career for making this uh, uh, process very smooth uh, and our investments are only going to continue going forward so thank you for this opportunity ma'am thank you ramani sir and indeed he was sharing me uh, with some recipe of a product which is uh, good for people who are facing difficulty in breathing especially in delhi so could you name the product please okay uh, <laughs> so the organizer is asking me to advertise my product <laughs> so i will do it uh, so i was uh, telling her about there's a product called madhwani right in case you have sore throats or the <coughs> cough which comes with with air pollution there is a product called madhwani it contains a series of herbs which are processed in honey uh, you have it uh, i can tell you that within 2 days all the throat congestion will go away so uh, thank you for this opportunity to pitch my product thank you <laughs> we are here till tomorrow so we need to keep our throats in check actually i will get some organized for you <laughs> so madhya pradesh the heart of india it has unlimited potential in the domain of agriculture and has emerged as a state with the highest growth in agriculture or rather highest agriculture growth to understand about the phenomenal growth of madhya pradesh in terms of conducive ecosystem and attractive policies now i would like to invite dr navneet mohan kothari md madhya pradesh industrial development corporation sir is an experience of almost 23 years with the core expertise on industrial policy and investment promotion petroleum and natural gas agriculture development etc and sir holds a mbbs degree in forensic science uh, sir we would like to have your comments please uh, thank you uh, the topic given to me is basically uh, what i am current charge i am holding and that is uh, for promotion of industries in the state of in my parent state of madhya pradesh uh, madhya pradesh has uh, already it has been discussed in the previous presentations we got a huge production base uh, both of uh, production and sourcing and madhya pradesh has uh, sourcing also for uh, both horticultural produce as well as for the cereals the wheat from madhya pradesh is very famous and it's very nutritive as a uh, regards the pulses the pulses are also we have got a very good quality of pulses especially the lentils tur mu gudad all of the pulses which uh, india consumes they are present in plenty in madhya pradesh then also for the horticultural produce like potatoes we have got a huge uh, very uh, growing industry which uh, makes use of these potatoes both for processing in uh, within the state as well as for processing in their parent units uh, outside the state and so on so what are the what is the ecosystem which uh, we we are uh, presenting to you so these are the, some uh, slides what will be the flow of my presentation already uh, we have discussed this that we are the second largest uh, state in india and more than 50% of the states are having a land boundary with us though we are land locked we don't have a port access directly but otherwise we have done everything we can to simplify the access of uh, of uh, our industry to the ports we got a huge industrial land bank we have got uh, abundant skilled manpower we got access power which we give to the industry we have got a huge uh, water resources also water is a constraint in many of the food processing industry which we don't have that constraint which we don't have 
and also we have got a huge network of around 5 lakh kilometers of roads which uh, effectively transfers the produce to the industry and from industry to the ports for and for the other states we got some unique products like wheat of uh, durum wheat uh, sharwati scented rice varieties a, lo a lot of long grain rice also is produced in mp then we have got spices uh, like uh, coriander the green the coriander which after being processed it, uh, remains green and it's very flavorful also we also got uh, chilies and garlic in abundance and uh, these are the basically if you invest in mp you will like have an access to a huge market as i already told you more than 50% of india states are having a direct line border with mp and uh, ports uh, we have got uh, these are the distances in uh, terms of uh, kilometers but uh, yeah the major ports on the western sides are are not more than 12 hours from uh, from any site in mp especially from the western mp and those on the eastern side are a bit far away but still within 12 hours uh, we can say that uh, paradeep or or visakhapatnam port we can access them easily we have got 11 agro climatic zone and uh, around 45 lakh hectares of irrigated area we have got a high dry matter content in our fruits and uh, as when we regard the exports of uh, wheat so we are the largest exporters of wheat pulses and tomatoes from the country and the fifth largest producer of millets these are the major agri production clusters uh we have got eight development food uh, government food parks spreading uh, uh, 545 hectares acres and two private mega food parks uh, we, which are a bit smaller but 115 acres we have got them we got two facilities of radiating our food products uh, or food processed foods uh, basically one in the rr cat indoor and secondly is avanti mega food park it's a private food park in devas we have got uh, premium industrial areas where we have got food processing units like smart industrial township in pithampur and uh, ujjain we have got vikram udyog puri mohasa bavi in hoshangabad there we have got uh, ample space for food processing industry already uh, in the pithampur we have got many industries like balaji chips etc in uh, vikram udyog puri we have got amul which is coming and then uh, again uh, our ba iskon balaji they are setting up a plant there mohasa bavi hoshangabad is very good for for the rice industry many of our big rice plants are coming up there we have got uh, as regards the skilled man power so we have got many central as well as state institutes and universities uh, whereby we have got an ample skilled man power in nmp uh, large scale food processing industry for, for investment more than 50 crores in plant and machinery uh, government of mp has got a very attractive investment to promotion assistance whereby we gave up to 60% of basic investment promotion 60% uh, of the capital investment in plant and machinery we we give back as basic investment promotion and plus we have got incentives on uh, employment generation um, and export oriented units we got a multiples uh, depending on the employment generated or depending on if, uh, if it's a 100% percent export oriented unit then it will get up to 1.2 times of uh, basic uh, ipa as a incentive then we have got infrastructure development assistance for power water roads we give assistance in case uh, the park doesn't have a satellite etp or stp we give assistance to the industry for setting up of uh, effluent treatment plants and sewage treatment plants we encourage zero dis liquid discharge units also we have got a financial assistance for cold chain warehouses mandi free reimbursement patent charges if, you, if if the unit takes that also we reimburse to a certain quantity uh, that was for the bigger industry for if if an msme wants to set up the incentives are nearly the same only the scale of operations is is less uh 
there are prominent regions where we have got a food processing ecosystem like indore is a manufacturing growth centers we have got an international airport in, we have got an international air cargo facility also with 30 tons per day capacity it's very well connected to the western part of india as well as to delhi and mumbai through both through agra mumbai national highway as well as through the upcoming mumbai uh, delhi expressway we have got two inland uh, container depots nearby very nearby indore and the prominent industries which are already here are Amul, Prestige Soya, Dabur is here, uh, Ruchi Soya is here, Sanchi, Amul milk plant is there, uh, which I already told you, Balaji is there, Balaji chips is there. And the second one is uh, near Bhopal, Bhopal is on the Delhi Mumbai and uh, Delhi Nagpur uh, highway basically. And we have got an ICD at uh, Mandidi which is around uh, 10 kilometers from the main city. We've got a food processing, textile, heavy engineering and automobiles are the currently main sectors. But yeah, we have got food processing industry in form of Hershey's, Procter & Gamble, Dawat, uh, the rice, Parle Agro is there and ITC is also coming up in uh, nearby Bhopal. Uh, Jabalpur is there, Jabalpur in the eastern part of MP, we have got direct domestic flights to more major com commercial facilities. It's uh, near Varanasi and uh, we have, there is a, the no north and uh, Kanyakumari through national highways uh, are passing through the city. We have got an ICD near Pawarkheda near the city. We have got uh, Fair Foods, Dabur, Sheila Agro and these are the major industries here. And as regards the Gwalior, we have got uh, Britannia, Mondelez, these are the major food uh, industries. Then Sun Pharma is here. And uh, Gwalior is basically in the northern part of the state. And we have got north-south corridor uh, passing through Gwalior. And also east-west uh, uh, corridor is also very near from Gwalior. Uh, what are the opportunities in the sector? The prime, uh, when we look at the three sectors, primary production and processing and transportation. So we've got uh, primary inputs, we've got seed production facilities, we've got fertilizer units, irrigation projects are coming up. When we look after the, uh, at the production and processing, we've got milling facilities, which uh, they are there. Dehydrated products is a new and upcoming area where we are seeing a lot of growth and uh, opportunities. Also in this uh, current exhibition also you might have seen that there are various types of dehydrators and uh, a lot many people have exhibited their machines. So it's a pr very interesting area which will be coming up. And seed and seed powders are also an upcoming area like Moringa seeds, Moringa seed powders. Uh, in our stall, we have got a powder of uh, okra bhindi, which is uh, very interesting. Then pulping and juicing, uh, it's a way of produce, protecting and promoting our f fruit produce, our horticultural produce. Fermentation and confectionery and value-added dairies like uh, making paneer, making um, milk powders or ghee, that's also an area which has got a huge potential, growth potential in MP. And finally, food packaging, because we are nearby to the, all the major industrial, uh, major consumption centers, be it in north in UP or Delhi, or uh, to the west in Mumbai. So we can, uh, we are a very good source. We can be, we promote ourselves as a base uh, kitchen for all the big brands. And because the costs are less and uh, ease, there is ease of establishing business. so. And for as regards the, temp, uh, the transportation infrastructure, so we have got uh, very good uh, roads there. We have got a very good coal chain infrastructure. We have got food parks and e-marketing facilities. Uh, these are the key players who are already in MP. And uh, our contact details are here. So in case of any queries, in case of any, if you are, if you are any interest in uh, learning more about that, we are most welcome to contact any of us. Thank you. Thank you, sir. To sum up the discussion today, we have heard the experts sharing their knowledge and insight on the topics pertinent to the advancement done by the government of Madhya Pradesh in the field of agriculture, 
considering considering the broader aspect of agri business and food pro, uh, food processing madhya pradesh has attacked attracted investment in the recent past by fr, uh, providing favorable policies as uh, suggested like ease of doing business and we have dabur as one of the endorsements uh, doing endorsements for it uh, madhya pradesh has uh, you know uh, at the government level to uh, they have provided ease of doing business to many renowned companies based on the climate and capabilities of different districts the state government has encouraged farmers to grow such produce which can lead to production of processed food products i feel proud in stating that the that the state has immense investment opportunities in the entire agriculture food and dairy processing value chain to conclude now uh, i would like to invite mr shantanu tripathi head fiki in madhya pradesh to please come up on the stage and felicitate our speakers here concluding the session i would like to uh, invite dr navneet mohan kothari for a word of thanks uh, i am taking this responsibility in my position as md of mpidc who is who are so i thank uh, all of the panel and also my, our esteemed uh, audience for participating in this panel discussion Thank you very much.